So to get us started with this, let's pretend we have a table. And on this table is um, a phone, a uh, switch, an old He-Man figure from the 80s, for some reason it's full of thread, and a disembodied foot with a brace on it. And what I want to do is count the number of ways that I can choose objects from this table and take all of them off. I want to count the number of ways I can choose all five of these objects off the table one at a time. So, uh, starting out, I have five different things I can choose from. So let's just suppose that I take the iPhone off first. So once I've made that choice, um, well, well, before I take the iPhone off, I have five different objects I can choose from. And after I make that choice, I have four objects left to choose from. I have the disembodied foot, the spool of thread for some reason, He-Man, and the switch. Right now, I make another choice, and I have four choices, and now I'm going to take off the spool of thread. Once I've done that, I have disembodied foot, He-Man, switch, so there are one, two, three objects to choose from. So multiply that by three. Now I'm going to take the foot off, and that's going to leave me... He-Man and the switch. So now I have two objects left to choose from. So I'll multiply by two. Uh, so let's take He-Man off. No, no, no. Let's, let's not. Let's take the switch off. Um, th this doesn't matter for the math. I just, I just want to be left with He-Man. Right, and now I have one more thing left to choose from. So I'll multiply this by one. And then we'll take He-Man off. All right now, um, the reason that I'm multiplying five... 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, that comes from that fundamental counting rule, that, 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 that multiplication principle from section 1. Um, I'm counting the number of ways I can take objects off the table one at a time, and so I'm multiplying, and the choices go down each time. And so, you know, as you all know, 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 is equal to 5 factorial. Right? That's the notation we use for 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. So that's the number of ways I can choose all five. If I have five things on the table, this is the number of ways that I could choose um, all of them one at a time. There are five factorial ways. Now, before I go on to um, the first definition of this section, I, I do want to point something out. Um, so let's, let's now um, suppose we're starting off with an empty table. Um, I'm going to erase all these uh, calculations we did before. And I want to figure out um, how many ways I can choose zero objects off that table. Now, one way to think of permutations um, as far as a, a definition goes is it's the number of ways to choose um, objects off a table. So in factorial, in factorial, um, which is equal to n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 down to 3 times 2 times 1. One way to think of this as the number of ways to choose n objects. So the question arises, um, what is zero factorial going to be? Well, think of it like this. I have nothing on this table. How many ways can I pick up zero objects? And the answer to that question um, is one. There is one way that I can pick up zero objects. And that one way is I don't pick up anything. So zero factorial is equal to one. And if that bugs you and, and you don't like that reasoning, we can talk about it in class or something. Um, and if, if it does bug you and it does bug some people, just think of this as a definition. We define zero factorial to be equal to one.